Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page five. Page five. Get all my papers organized and up here at the top. Okay, so page five, we're gonna start with two flaps. These flaps are four. I said I got page four wrong. I'm gonna put the panel the uh, banner right. I think I said four and one eighth, but it's really four and five eighths. Four and five eighths by eight. Score half inch on the four and five eighth inch side. They're going to go flush left and right. Now what that means is you have a finished four and one eighth, and I think that's why I said it wrong. The banner will be correct. So the next thing we're going to install is a belly band and it's two inches by nine inches and you're going to score a half inch, I forgot to say that, you're scoring the half inch on those two on the four and a five eight inch side. This is two by nine, you're going to score a half inch and eight and a half. And I forgot I need to find my center. There's my center. I'm just using my grid. That's close enough. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay, so here's our base. I'm gonna apply glue on one side, slide it in, and then apply the glue once it's in. Um, otherwise, it's too hard to get through. And I like to run it through a time or two just to um, make sure that there's no interference anywhere. Everything fits fine. Okay, make sure my flanges are down. And I've inked my edges, and I have. I need to clean my glue tip. It's that time. Okay. Glue side is the trailing edge. Leading edge is no glue. Push that through. I'm going to hold this at an angle so it doesn't grab my paper before I'm ready. I'm going to pull my mat through. Now we're going to add some glue here. Okay, I forgot to mention that's from the 8x8. This is from the background. They said it right. For, for once, which is a 12 by 12 pack. So it turns out I'm using one 12 by 12 collection, two eight by eight collection packs, and two backgrounds, and one set of dies, die cuts. Isn't that nice? This is going to go left and right, and this is from the patterns, and I'm sorry, the, uh, I should have known I'd mess up again. This is from the uh, backgrounds, and I need to trim that down a little. And so what's different uh, so far from page four is just that this is, this, uh, the B side of those flaps 
is coming from um, the backgrounds and on page four it's coming from the 8x8 pack. It just means the scale slightly different. Okay, let's ink it and get it in. Then we have the A side and the magnet. Okay, we got that in. This is the insert. This is six and a half by six and a half, and this is from the backgrounds. Let's see how we did here. I think we're ready to ink it and install it. Yes, we are. are the pieces that are going to go here. We're going to lay this down. Then we're going to use um, this little ephemera card cut apart from the 8x8 collection to have a to hold a magnet that's going to grab the second flap. this I think toward the top yeah like this because I don't really want to cover up too much of my teapot and I know I'm gonna need this so let's go ahead and put this back on I'm not going to put it on yet. I have to add a magnet first. Okay, so I'm just going to put a magnet right about here. Okay, now I can add this. And then we can glue that down. Okay, 
Okay, we need to add our meat. Almost done, guys. I need to wash my hands and wash my glue tip. Everything's clogged up. I think my husband's running the heater, so everything's drying out. Including me. Lovely. Okay. And we'll start insert. Okay. Now I'm going to install these in the book and um, I'm going to add some additional embellishments, but you're going to have to look for those in the walkthrough. And hopefully I'll have this um, up and running for you guys tomorrow, uh, Friday, February 25th. See you guys soon.